Hey guys, uh, Brian Forstall. Uh, this is going to be section one, beginner lesson number five. I want to go over the last few open chords that you're def you know, definitely going to need. Uh, we went over the A on lesson four, and uh, that's going to be in this because we want to be in the key of E. And so we're going to learn an E major. Then we're going to learn that A that we've already learned. And then we're also going to learn a B7. And uh, that's the one, four, five, the primary chords in the key of E. So you'll see those a lot. Um, let's get right into it. I'll assume you're in tune. The E chord, uh, your first finger is going to go on the first fret on string three. Your second finger is going to go on the second fret on string five. Of course, arched and high and biting down close to the fret, of course. And then your ring finger is going to come right up underneath that second finger. So you might back the middle finger up a tiny bit to get uh, the fourth string. So basically, it's your E minor chord that you learned in a previous lesson, but you're going to add your first finger on the third string, raising the G to a G sharp, making it E major. And that's uh, making it a major third in the chord, which creates a major, and we'll go over major minor uh, in, in future lessons. Now, the A chord, um, I showed you the textbook A, but when I'm doing the E, I tend to drop my middle and uh, ring fingers down, one string each to four and three, and then I just add my pinky to string two and get that A that way. So it seems to be an easier way to grab the A going from the E. So that would be second finger, second fret, string four, third finger, second fret, string three, pinky, <clears throat> second fret, second string with the pinky. So all three strings are being held down in fret two. Four strings, four, three, and two, with the open fifth, which is the A. And your first string is open as well. Then the B7 is your uh, first finger is going to be in the first fret. It's kind of a difficult chord. Um, first finger's in the first fret on string four. Second finger's in the second fret on string five. Your third finger or ring finger comes down on the third string in the second fret, so it's in the same fret as the middle finger. Your pinky comes down in the second fret as well on the first string. What I kind of notice is you tend to see a string, skip a string, see a string, skip a string. You see your second finger on the fifth, you skip a string, your ring finger's on the third string, then you skip the second string and your pinky's on the first string on the second fret. First finger again is in the first fret on string four. Um, what, you're gonna miss the six on that one as well. Um, so with the E chord, you definitely have the sixth string open, that's your E. With the A, you're going to have five down. And with the B7, you're going to have five down. Back to E. And that makes me think of like peaceful, easy feeling. Uh, well, I like the way sparkling earrings lay against your skin so proud. I want to sleep with you in the desert tonight With a billion stars all around And I've got a peaceful, easy feeling And I know you won't let me down Cause I'm already standing on the ground. Back to E. So you got E, A, and B7 all through that song. It's in the key of E, of course. Those are big chords you're going to need to know. Now I'm doing that first rhythm. Down, 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 down. Same thing there. Um, the other rhythm was that down, down, down. another rhythm that does get used a lot, but that's not a peaceful, easy feeling. I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please um, hit me up on Facebook and friend me. And uh, God bless and have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.